This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports the Justice Department Civil Rights Division has objected to the new photo ID requirement for voters in Texas, virtually guaranteeing another fight between the state and minority groups who argue that the legislation discriminates against the poor, the elderly, and even college students living far from home. In a letter to Texas officials, the Justice Department says Hispanic voters in Texas are as much as 120 percent more likely than non-Hispanic voters to lack a driver's license or personal state-issued photo ID. Texas Governor Rick Perry wrote in a statement released Monday opposing the decision, saying the DOJ has no valid reason for rejecting this important law, which requires nothing more extensive than the type of photo identification necessary to receive a library card or board an airplane. KHOU.com reports a Houston police officer was hospitalized after her police car was hit by a 25-year-old drunk driver in East Houston Sunday night. Officer Vanessa Tewell was en route to a call around 8 p.m. She was pulling away from a stop sign in the 2100 block of McCarty at Kerr when her squad car was struck by a red Honda Civic. Luis Antonio Benigas who was driving the Civic, hopped out and attempted to flee on foot, but was quickly apprehended. Officer Tewell was transported to Memorial Hermann Hospital in stable condition. She sustained several injuries, including a broken pelvis and a broken leg. Benigas was charged with felony intoxication, assault on a peace officer. The Associated Press reports a federal audit has recommended that Texas repay $9 million in alleged overcharges related to administration of hurricane recovery funds. Hurricane Dolly and Ike hit Texas in 2008. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has made $1.4 billion in grants available. Gary Haygood with the Texas General Land Office says the state is negotiating with federal authorities over potential repayment. The Austin American Statesman reported Sunday that the review determined the state improperly contracted with engineers from HNTB to manage the grants. The newspaper reports overcharges were billed by Missouri-based HNTB and paid in federal dollars. HNTB, in a statement Friday, said the company cooperated with the audit, has complied with terms of its state contract, and that concerns identified in the review have been addressed. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.